hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a puff sleeve with drawstrings if you are new here please subscribe to my channel like and share my videos so to start with i have my fabric folded into four because i'll be cutting both sleeves at once so what i have unfold is half of my armhole measurement multiplied by two I have 19 inches on fold because I want my sleeves to be really full. But if you don't want yours to be as full as mine or you don't have enough fabric, you can as well place on fold half of your armhole measurements plus extra 6 or 7 inches depending on what you want. But for mine, I have half of my armhole measurements multiplied by 2 on fold. And for the length, I have 14 inches for the length of my sleeve. Then I added extra 4 inches to that to make 18 inches. The extra 4 inches I added is for the puffiness and to end the down part of my sleeve. Now on the open end here, I marked my cap sleeve which is 5 inches. So I came down by 5 inches from the starting line. Now from that point here, I'm going to connect to the sleeve cap like so. I'm just going to draw like an S shape to meet the cap's height and our sleeve is ready so I'm just going to cut that out so this is what I have after cutting out I'm going to gather the upper part to the armhole of my dress now the next thing I'm going to do now is to mark the point where I'm going to fix my drawstring so I'm going to be making the markings on the right side of my sleeve. So from the down part, I came up by 6 inches. So I marked 6 inches upward from the down part like so. Then I connected that into a straight line. So that is the point where I'm going to fix my drawstring. Then the next thing I did was to note the midpoint of the line. I marked the midpoint. Then I also went ahead to cut long strip of fabric. This will serve as a casing for my drawstring. To know what to cut out for the strip, what I did was to measure from the side seam here to the center point. I have about 18.5 inches there. So I cut out a strip that is about 19 inches long. And the width is 1.5 inches. Then I folded it in on both sides with half inch. So I, I folded it in on both sides like so. And I gave it a good press. Then I also folded one of the strap, one of the end. I folded it in. So the part that was folded in will be facing the center point. Now I placed my strap on the line. Making sure I leave about half inch before the center point because that is the point where our drawstring is going to come out from so i placed my strap on the line like so then i used my pin to hold that down and i'll go ahead to make a top stitch on both sides and i'll do the same thing to the other side i'm going to place my strap on the line making sure I leave about half inch before the center point. That is where the drawstring is going to come out from. I'm going to pin that down and I'll stitch on both sides. What I did next was to cut another long strip of fabric. This one is about five inches longer than the casing. This will serve as the rope that is going to pass through the casing. And the width is also 1.5 inches. So what I did was to fold this in half inch twice, then I further fold it again, and I'll run a top stitch on it like so. So this is what I have after doing all that. And I also end the down parts of my sleeve. So this is what I have for my casing. Now the next thing I'll do now is to pass my drawstring into the casing. So I'll be passing the drawstring with my pin so I'll be passing this from the center point like so. 
we're going to pass that into the casing like this so i'll bring it out at the side seam like this so when i get to the side seam i'm just going to hold that down with my pin so this is what i have now i'll do the same thing to the second side as well i'll pass my rope starting from the center point like so And I'll hold this down at the side with my pin. So this is what I have for the drawstring. So this is how it's going to look like. You're just going to drag this and you tie it at the middle. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to join the side seam of my sleeve. So I'm going to place them right side facing each other. And I'll go ahead and stitch with my one inch side seam allowance. This is what I have after fixing the side seam. So all you're going to do is to drag it at the middle like so. And you're just going to tie this on your arm as tight as you want it to be. And I'll go ahead and gather the sleeve into the armhole of my dress and that'll be all. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!